Bill Swift from Swift Canoe and Kayak here. Thank you for purchasing a beautiful Swift Tandem Canoe. We're going to go over some of the important features on your boat and talk a bit about maintenance at the end. So your boat will come with a sales worksheet either from one of our stores or one of our dealers along with an owner's manual. Now this owner's manual contains lots of really cool information. It's also on our website. So it's got really good information on the inside. And then on the back of it, it's got all the information that you need to register your boat on the link on our website. And if you can upload this information along with a photo of the copy of your sales receipt, you're going to be good to go and your boat's going to be covered under warranty. So let's go over the boat from head to toe, so to speak. This is a beautiful Prospector 15 Expedition Kevlar with a ruby finish. It's got our black and gold carbon Kevlar trim that is foam filled. We infuse the gunnel with the hull as one structural part. It's got the carbon end caps on it. It's got a hole drilled right near the end of the boat. So when you tip the boat over and you put it on your vehicle or wherever you're storing it, the water will drain right out of it rather than pull in the end cap. This particular boat has all cherry interior and it's put on with stainless steel hardware. Very strong, very aesthetically pleasing. Now, all of our tandem canoes have flotation chambers. And the float tanks are air-filled. And they have a neoprene gasket on them. So the neoprene gasket is what gives you the real tight seal. So because it's air-filled, air expands and contracts with different temperatures. If you ever see it pulling in or puffing out, just simply take the float tank plug out, let the air pressure neutralize, and then put the tank, the plug back in. So when you put it in, you just click it down and you've got a tight seal. On my canoes, I leave the float tank plugs out unless I'm using them. That way the air can always come in and out. Now, the boat has this beautiful carbon Kevlar trim really smooth finish we put a couple coats of resin on this if you ever chip it or wear it down you can put a little bit of resin on top of it just to touch it up a bit now one of the big features of our canoes are our seating systems whether it's cherry or carbon very wide frame so you can move over to the side of the boat a little bit we curve the back bar way back lots of room for your coccyx and we also angle the front bar forward. So if you're ever kneeling in the boat, doesn't dig into the back of your thighs at all, super comfortable position. Here is our contour carrying yoke. This is one made in cherry. It's got a little notch cut out for your neck right here and each one looks a little bit different. Every boat is handmade. There may be a mark or two in it which really identifies it as yours. Something beautiful like Cindy Crawford's mold. This one has a little mark in the white right here. The basalt negra, this brown material is the basalt. The white is the negra. You really don't need to do anything to maintain the interior of the cloth. The stern seat, very wide framed again, very comfortable. And coming back to the boat, to the back end, every boat has a serial number on it. And the letter after the dash represents the month that it was made and the last two digits represent the year that it was made. So you've purchased an absolutely beautiful boat. A lot of folks ask us how to maintain the wood finish and the seats, the handles, the thwarts, the yokes. So what we like to do is use this Badger wood oil, which you can buy off our web store, along with the Protectant 303. And what Joe really likes to do, our buddy, he likes to take some wet, dry sandpaper, 
put a bit of oil on it and literally just smooth the oil right into this. It's good to do a couple times a year. Again, if you're storing your boat outside, you might want to do it additional time. If while you're doing this, a drip or two of the oil lands in the boat, just clean it up. So we love taking care of your boats and the boats love a caressing and proper taking care of every now and then. Learn to love your boat and the boat will love you back. So when you get in and out of your boat, a tandem canoe, have one person really hold the boat tightly. When we do portage trips and the ends have to stick way out in the water, we'll have one person sit right on here while the other person will make their way down the boat. Put the paddle across, one hand on each gunnel and the paddle, step right in the middle, and then keeping your weight centered, sit right down into the back of the boat. If you're primarily tripping, a lot of people will place their packs where they're really pushing on them a little bit. Now, what I love about this seating system with the nylon webbing is it's so comfortable. It's very easy to put your feet under and I'll paddle a lot like this. One leg under, one leg in front of me. If it gets really windy and wavy and I really want a greater center of balance, I can very easily put both knees under. And the more you can keep your weight real low on the floor of the boat, the more stable you're going to be. So hope those tips help you out. Let's talk about a boat that's really decked out with carbon interior and so on now. So here's a tandem canoe with our beautiful carbon tech package, all interior parts being carbon. This is a Ruby Prospector 17 and Kevlar Fusion that we've built for one of our customers in Ontario. It's got the beautiful black carbon Kevlar trim on it. Then this is something that we're really proud of, guys. We've worked really hard. The seats are carbon and they're foam filled with a carbon eye beam in them. In each particular strut on the seat, we build these all ourselves. Our We've got a great team of people at our factory that develop the shape, the construction method, and they build all of these. So very wide frame, the curve to the back bar, the angle to the front bar, so comfortable. Our carbon thwarts, our carbon handles, our carbon yokes are built much like a carbon bike frame. We build the part half at a time in a cast aluminum mold. We put the parts together. We've got a method where we mat the material back down. We blow a bladder in and then we run the resin through it. They're hollow. They're super cool. It took quite a bit of time and effort to develop this technology. And this particular boat, it's a family that purchased it. They wanted seats to either solo paddle or for the kids to use. So this adds a lot of versatility. This particular carbon seat is fixed. We can also make it detachable. It's an option where you can clip it right out when you're not using it. And then what I wanted to show you on this is that maintenance. So we use Protectant 303. And this material is super cool. It's essentially suntan lotion for your boat. What we do is we spray it on. So what I do is I lightly spray some and on the boats that have the carbon tech package, you do the gunnels and then you also do the carbon parts on the inside. So you can do the carbon thwarts. You can do the edges of the seats that you can get at. And you can also do the side pods. So I'll go right down each side of the boat. And literally, this just hardly takes any time at all, folks. You just go from end to end, wipe it right down. I go all the way to the middle. I lean the boat over more. And then you can also do the float tanks on the inside of the boat. Rub the protectant 303 on the handles. Also do it on the end caps. 
really provides a real nice finish for it. Now, if you're ever paddling in salt water or real brackish water, I always get a hose or a bucket, clean the boat up, rinse it off if you want, wipe it off if you got some stain marks on it. If you're storing your boat outside, you want to do the protectant 303 maybe three or four times a year. And then, folks, what I always want you to remember more than anything, these boats are beautiful, but they're meant to be used. I love seeing them after a few years when they have lots of scratches and marks on them. And I know then that you've really been enjoying your boat. So I hope you enjoy your boat as much as I love them. Cheers to your new purchase.